Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying how much time passes between two given times. Our first problem here is to study how many minutes is it from this time till the next whole hour. And here we see... Okay, actually we don't need to know what time it is exactly. We just need to figure out the minute hand moving from here all the way over there, right? And I can do that in several parts. I can first figure out that, okay, this much is two minutes, right? And then from this to this, there will be five minutes, right? And then from here till there would be half an hour. So in total we get the 30 minutes and 5 and 2. 37 minutes, right? It's always a good strategy that you imagine moving the minute hand. Now let's look at the next example. Maybe you can figure out how many minutes is it till the next whole hour. Maybe you have just started, say, a math class and uh, your class will end at the next whole hour. So how many minutes are left of the class? We can do the same thing and figure it out in parts, right? There would be one minute right there. And then from here, there would be 10 minutes, five and five. And then from here all the way over there would be the half hour or 30 minutes. So 30 minutes, 40 and 1. 41 minutes. So most of the class is still left. And then over here, how many minutes pass from this time till 5.50? What time is it now? Oh yeah, Matthew, you're going to tell me it's... Oh, okay, you're telling me it is 5.17. I thought he was going to say that it's sub time. Five fifty will be when the minute hand is here, right? So we can again imagine moving the minute hand here three minutes, and then five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. So thirty minutes and three, thirty-three minutes. Can you think of another way of solving the same problem? If you were only given the numbers 517 and 550, you notice that there is the same hour, five hours. And so you look at the minutes and then you find the difference of 17 and 50. So you can subtract 50 minus 17, 33. Next one, from this time till 420. Now this time here, we just studied that in our last lesson it is 303. Let me write it over here, 303. Until 420, notice that the hour changes now. Three hours, four hours, okay? In fact, there is more than one hour between these two times. Because if there was exactly one hour, then we would have 403. So it is one hour and some more, right? If we go exactly one hour, then we would have 4.03 four here. And then we go from the 03 till 20 minutes. And you can subtract there. 20 minus 3, 17. So we would get 1 hour, 17 minutes, right? Now here we don't have the clock anymore. We just have the times given to us. But still, how much time passes from 2.04 till 238. That one is pretty easy because the hours are the same. Two hours, two hours. So all we need to do is subtract the minutes. 38 minus 4. So we get 34 minutes. Did you get the same? How about from 310 till 405? Now the hour changes. From 3 till the next hour. Four. So figure that one in two parts. From this time till the next whole hour, till four o'clock. 
And then from 4 o'clock till 4 or 5 would be, of course, just 5 minutes. So from this till 4, how many minutes? You should get 50 minutes, right? There's 10 minutes here and 50 minutes more till we get to 60 minutes, till the next whole hour. So from here to 4, 50 minutes and then 5 minutes more. So 55 minutes. Oh, Matt is telling me another way to figure it out. Yes, and that is that you, if you think if this had been 4.10, it would have been exactly one hour or 60 minutes. So it is just five minutes less than one hour. Yeah, exactly, good. From 12.25 till 1.20. How about that? You can use the same idea. You can use Matthew's idea. If this was 1.25, then it would be exactly one hour, right? But it is lacking five minutes from one hour. So again, we have 55 minutes. From 8.50 till 10.55. Again, you can think how Matthew was thinking that if this was 10.50, we would have exactly two hours, from 8.50 till 10.50. But it is five minutes more, so we get two hours, five minutes. Lastly, from 9.10 till 12.30. Think about it for a moment before I write the answer. Nine hours, 12 hours, 10 minutes, 30 minutes. You can just subtract. From here to here is 3 hours, and then from here to here, 20 minutes. 3 full hours, and then also 20 minutes. Is that Matthew? Oh, studying about times makes him hungry. Ah. When's the next supper time? Ah, um, Matthew, maybe in 2 hours, I think. Just wait, okay? I have a puzzle for you, Matthew. Look over there. This is a difficult problem, okay? From this time till that time, how much time passes? What shall we do? Let's figure out what time it is, actually. There's six and nine minutes. Six oh nine. This one? Okay, here's 30 minutes, 35, 40, 41 minutes, 10 hours. What do you think, Matthew? How much time passes between these two times? Okay, when we go from 6.09 till 10.09, that would be exactly four hours. So this is more than four hours, right? And then we can subtract the minutes, 41 minus 9 equals 32. So what do you get? You should get 4 hours and 32 minutes. Right? Right. Okay. I hope you got the same. Well done with this lesson.